in this short video we are going to look at stability analysis of linear time invariant systems using body diagrams so let's look at some preliminaries here we call that body plots are nothing but magnitude and phase plots of uh, the transfer function as the frequency of the input signal which is a pure sinusoid goes from zero to infinity and that is theoretical practically you go from a very small value like 10 to the power of minus 2 radians per second to say 10 to the power of 2 radians per second so this is the magnitude plot in decibels and this is the phase plot in degrees the y-axis here is in degrees so if you have a transfer function like this body plots are usually done for k equal to 1 so what happens when k is altered so let's look at the mag magnitude uh, so the transfer function evaluated j omega is given by this expression here which we can write this as k g dash where g dash is everything except k if we take the magnitude on both sides you can write it this way and if you write the magnitude in decibels essentially ends up this this term ends up being a sum of the individual terms in decibels so let's look at the phase uh, phase similarly you can take the angle of g uh, which is, ends up being angle of k plus angle of g dash evaluated j omega k is a real positive number therefore this is going to be 0 degrees so angle of g is nothing but angle of g dash evaluated at j omega which it, uh, g, g dash is just this part here now what happens if you change k mm, so if you change k you are essentially um, adding or subtracting a constant term to the magnitude plot at k equal to 1 so at k equal to 1 uh, the magnitude of g in decibels is equal to magnitude of g dash in decibels so if you change k you're just adding or subtracting a constant term so what that means is when you move when you change k you just move the magnitude plot up or down um, but k doesn't affect the phase plot so here I have plotted uh, the magnitude and phase plot for three values of k k equal to 1 is the original plot k equal to 0 0.01 is this green uh, curve here and k equal to 100 is the red curve here if you notice the phase plot is the same for all three k's Something that you must uh, kind of have a sense of in doing stability analysis in body plots is the concept of gain crossover frequencies and phase crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency given by omega gc is the frequency at which the gain plot crosses the zero decibel line. Phase crossover frequency omega pc is the frequency at which the phase plot crosses the minus 180 degree line. In addition to gain crossover frequency and phase, uh, phase crossover frequency, you should also know the concept of the gain margin and the phase margin. So let's say there's your gain crossover frequency omega gc right here. That's where the gain plot crosses the zero decibel line. Let's look at the phase crossover frequency. Phase crossover frequency is the where the phase plot crosses the minus 180 degree line. The phase margin is the amount by which the phase plot is above or below the minus 180 degree line at the gain crossover frequency. Similarly, the gain margin is the amount by which the gain plot is above or below the zero decibel line at the phase crossover frequency stability uh, this analysis is only valid for minimum phase systems when you say minimum phase system there are no zeros or poles in the transfer function that are in the right half plane if the phase margin is negative the system is said to be unstable uh, gain margin is negative if at the phase crossover frequency the gain plot is above zero decibels and phase margin negative if, if at the gain crossover frequency the phase plot is below minus 180 degrees when we are talking about uh, stability 
we are talking about this controller configuration this is a controller with a simple gain k this is your plant uh, g so for marginal stability the phase crossover frequency will be the same as the gain crossover frequency what that means is the magnitude of kg evaluated at omega pc or the phase crossover frequency is equal to 1 if you write this equation in decibels essentially what you're doing is taking 20 log to the base 10 on both sides so that the right hand side becomes 0 decibels so you can expand this term like so the log of a product is sum of the logs and you can rewrite this equation as 20 log to the base 10 k equal to minus 20 log to the base 10 of g evaluated at magnitude of g evaluated at omega j omega pc now it turns out that this term whole term here is the gain margin therefore you can see that k is 10 to the power of gain margin divided by 20 gain margin is in decibels now some implications uh, if you look at the left hand side I have the root locus of a system so this is a pole this is a pole this is zero and this is how the root locus behaves so as you increase k k equal to zero the roots are right here as you increase k the roots come here collide one branch goes up like that and the branch goes down like that one branch ends up at a zero and one branch ends up at infinity now if you notice the imaginary axis is right here root locus doesn't cross the imaginary axis for any value of k what that means is the system will never go unstable in other words you have infinite gain margin you can bump up k to any level and still not make the system un unstable now if you look at the system the body in the uh, frequency domain i.e look at the body diagram of the system you'll see that the phase plot never reaches minus 180 in this case it tapers off at minus 90 degrees okay. that is a characteristic of a system that has infinite gain margin so if the phase plot never hits minus 180 uh, you're going to have infinite gain margin so let's look at an example here this is a plant this is the configuration of the controller on the left hand side I have plotted the uh, root locus now this root locus as you can see crosses the imaginary axis at some value of k and the right hand side I have the body plot and uh, the body plot is typically done for k equal to 1 let's look at an example here this is our transfer function for the plant this is the configuration of the closed loop system k being the controller gain a simple proportional controller now on the left hand side i have the root locus of the plant and on the right hand side i have the body plot body plot is plotted for k equal to one now we can check if the system is stable or not uh, for that we need to check the phase uh, phase margin of the system now at the gain crossover frequency which is right here if I go down and see what the phase is it's the phase right here it happens to be below minus 180 therefore the system is unstable so the system closed loop system is unstable for k equal to 1 question is um, what do I need to do to make the system marginally stable now if you look at the left hand side you can see that the root locus crosses the imaginary axis at some point and the point at which it crosses the imaginary axis is given as S0 is 3.3146i. You can find a value for k at this uh, value of uh, the closed loop uh, pole by just substituting uh, this value in this transfer function and finding the magnitude like so. So k is 0 0.5992 on the same lines you could go to the body plot and look at the gain margin which is minus 4.44 and find a value of k to make the system marginally stable as k equal to 10 to the power of gain margin divided by 20 gain margin in decibels which is minus 4.44 
So 10 to the power of minus 4.44 divided by 20 is 0.5998. The small difference here is because I eyeballed uh, this closed loop pole. If I eyeballed it perfectly, then these two should match. Here is another example. This is an interesting example where um, the root locus starts off in the stable region as you increase k goes out becomes unstable and then it re-enters re back into the left half plane so essentially what you can say from this is there are two values of k k1 and k2 in between which the system is unstable for values of k greater than k2 the system is stable for values of k less than k1 the system is stable now if you look at the body plot you'll see that uh, the phase plot has two phase crossover frequencies right here and right here and it dips below 180 degrees and then comes back on and then remains here. Now you can find the two k's k1 as 0 0.0045 so if k is less than k1 system is unstable uh, if k is greater than k2 system is stable k2 is 0.6756 so if k between k1 and k2 the system is unstable and the same two values of k can be obtained from here so this point corresponds to a gain margin of minus 3.28 what that means is you can set k2 equal to this value to make the system uh, marginally stable and if you keep on reducing k, you can set k1 to this value to again make the margin uh, system marginally stable. So the system is unstable in between these two points. So finally, summary. So changing k only move the body magnitude got up or down you need to understand the concept of gain crossover frequency phase crossover frequency you need to understand phase margin and gain margin only phase margin determines stability gain margin determines amount of change in gain k to achieve marginal stability